Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Evan Bryan of Heartland Track and Field. How's it going? Good. How are you, Casey? I'm doing well. Um, so it is. Uh, it has been quite the year, and uh, you uh, you guys you guys decided that you haven't you didn't have enough, so you broke your record again. Uh, Saturday at the uh, KLA conferences, I believe it was the four by four. Um, what has this track season been like for you guys? It's been a lot of fun. I mean, with breaking all these records, especially recently, putting by breaking all three of the four by one, the four by two, and the four by four records, it's been great. Um, Cameron Cheatham obviously has been a huge, the biggest part of that. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's been a really good, great season. Yeah. Besides the weather, has yeah, you know, but you're but you're gonna get that though. It's gonna happen. Okay, so um, how many how many records have you broke so far this year? Um, I've been a part of breaking just those three relays, uh, the four by one, four by two, four by four. And how uh, long were those like? Has it been a while since those records were broken, or was it just recently? It's been a while, actually. The coaches were super excited. The last record in the four by one was actually hand timed because it was that long ago, like before they even had all the gosh he timing and all that yeah so they were pretty excited about that one i believe they're all pretty old actually um the four by two i think was the most recent one that we broke but the other two were a while ago yeah um so just uh just to kind of tell what what events do you uh do you do uh i'm the 100 200 400 and long jump i actually really love the long jump okay um let's let's we'll start with that well then we'll go to the uh, events so when did you like start when did you like get into long jump um so long jump I actually jumped my first sophomore year kind of in the middle of the year just near the end I thought it looked like fun so I thought I'd give it a shot I jumped pretty well the coaches kind of were like okay you should probably start practicing this get into it so I got a little more serious and have been jumping ever since yeah um how have you been doing in that uh this season this season has been good i've hit some good jumps a couple of times i'm really aiming for the 22 mark haven't hit it yet i've ran lots of a couple of 21 jumps decent ones um yeah it's been going good okay so the um so the 100 the 200 and the the 400 and now just just to clarify, you do those separate, you have those separate events along with those relay, along with being a part of the relays, right? Yes. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Um, I think I just asked somebody this that I just talked to uh, just uh, just a few minutes ago, but is there any difference like between like going for like just a regular 100, 200, 400 and the compared to a relay race? Absolutely. Yeah. Oftentimes people's relay splits are much faster than they're opens. And I think it probably has to do with like the adrenaline of like you're on a team and you know, like you're passing around the baton. Like it's part of just, I feel like people run a little bit faster. So, yeah. Okay. So, um, let me ask you this. Okay. You're getting ready for a race. Let's, uh, let's go inside your head a little bit. Um, well, how, what do you do to get ready? Uh, I guess just, I try to stay like try to stay focused, make sure I'm always like drinking my water. Um, the little honey stick. Usually try to take one of those like 30 minutes just before my race. Just super always make sure I'm stretched out. Like getting an injury is the biggest, obviously, like bad thing that could happen. So always make sure I'm warm, keep my warm-ups on until it's time for the race. Yeah. Favorite favorite event to run, you think? Uh well, besides the long jump. If it's a running event, I'd have to say right now it's probably the 200. Okay. I really enjoyed the 200. Okay. So, um, okay. For the relay races, do you tend to, are you the first guy, the second guy, third guy, or do you rather be the last guy? It depends on the race. Um, for the two and the four, I'm usually starting. Uh, for the 100, I'll either anchor or go second. On one of the straightaways is usually where I'll be placed. Okay. Um. So going into that race, like, what what is that? You know, to to the team that you run with, um, what has been probably one of the most you know 
four by one, four by two, or four by four. What what one is surprise kind of surprised you the most this season? And like, wow, I can't believe we did all that. Definite. Well, I'd say the four by one and the four by four both kind of surprised me a lot. Just because that four by one was so such an old time, and it was because it was a good run, and beating that was really exciting. And then the four by four was just really unexpected, because that was like we were looking at the splits and all that, and we were like, we don't know if we don't know if we have the speed to break that record, but we'll go out and try, and just like that, we broke it. So that was really exciting. Okay, who is on the four by four with you? Uh, that was Cameron Cheatham, Carson Cook, Robert Wisniewski, and I. Okay. And yeah, it's, I mean, the four of you guys, I mean, that's, um, you know, what, a, what a year that you, the four, that the four of you have put together. I mean, you know, I know that all of you could potentially be running in college, either in cross country or in track. Um, what, what is that like to the, and the chemistry between the four of you? What, what is that? What's that like for people that may not know? Uh, it's really great. I mean, we, even just going to practice, like getting to practice with them is a lot of fun. Um, Pace, trying to pace with Cameron Cheatham is such an advantage for all of us. Just doing his type of work, like it's got to be helping us get faster. And just that, like you said, the chemistry that we have makes it a lot of fun to go run a race with those guys. How long did it take for you to, to get the baton handoff thing? Well, we actually changed that. The first time we broke the record, we did kind of the regular like shuffle reach out handoff. And our coaches were like, when we got that good time, they were like, okay, like we need to we're going to try and drop some time. And one way we're going to do that is by changing up the handoff to more of a, just a quicker handoff. It's like a one, two, three step. And then you kind of turn just another type of handoff, a quicker one, supposedly. And then we broke the record with that again. So. Yeah. Okay. So going into going in from that, what was, uh, when you, when you started doing that, did it, did it obviously, it obviously with anything, it takes a few missteps here and there, but um, you guys kind of got it down. Yeah. Yeah. You know, with, with practice, we practiced it in practice a couple of times, made sure our coach was watching, giving us tips, just making sure we had it down for me time. So how did conferences go? I know I know that all these different conferences have different things, but um, uh, the KLAA conference meet was Saturday at Howell. What was that like for you? I know you had to uh, dodge the elements a little <laughs> bit, but um, what was that? Uh, what was that day like? Uh besides the weather like you said uh it was a good day that that meet is so competitive i mean that is basically our state meet like they had a lot of big teams a lot of big runners there um it went well for me i took second in the long jump behind quincy who is just unreal he has like the best jump of all time in michigan so i'm i accept losing to him now <laughs> so second place in that was great uh, like we've talked about the four by four record, we took first in that as well. Um, and then I ran the 200, didn't do as great as I wanted to, I uh, had a little shoe issue. And then the four by two was another, it was a decent race. It was, it was a fun race. I love the four by two. Yeah. Okay. So, so what, what is next for you? Well, next is, would be Friday for our regional me currently i'm planning on doing the long jump the four by four for sure and i'm still deciding on whether i want to try to go in the 200 or 400 my coaches aren't sure if i should do both of them they think that might be a little bit much so i kind of got to make a decision there for which one i want to run yeah so okay i know that there's only at time of recording you don't have a lot of school days left. i think you at time, i think if i'm not mistaken you only have two sure, um, that'd be correct and one of them is a walkout day so yeah so what is what is that like to know that you're almost done i mean it's pretty exciting a little scary but exciting for sure i'm ready to take that next the next jump in my life you know jump kind of like you know okay Love. <laughs> yeah 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 um okay so you talk about what's next i know you're still trying to decide what you want to do um what are do you see yourself running track in the fall or cross country in the fall or whatever uh yeah i see myself running track in the fall for sure i really love it you know i love the practice love the meets it's just really fun really fun sport yeah 
Um, what would I know you've accomplished a lot this year, and regardless of how this season is, it is a success. Anytime you break break a record, it's you're on the uh, on the big wall, um, hopefully forever. Yeah. But um, what would it mean to cap off the career with when placing in something or even taking it all in, in an event? I mean, that would be really great. I really hope to go to states for the long jump the four by four and if I can make it happen either the two or the four uh really excited for the long jump that's definitely my my most I'm hoping for the most improvement there yeah all right um all right well let's get to know you a little bit Evan how about that for sure okay so um what best track moment of your high school career Ooh. um I feel like it's got to be one of my long jumps, just getting like probably from my, I went from a 20 foot four to in the outdoor season to a 21 five. And when I hit that, when I got that jump, that was, that was really exciting for sure. Cause I knew like I could, I could go a lot further in long jump after that. Okay. Um, all right. Favorite, favorite food. Right now, I'd probably have to say wings. I'm a big wing guy. What do you, uh, where, where's the place? Do we go to Wings Etc. or something? Wings Etc. is really good, and we just got that Buffalo Wild Wings opening up. I so, saw that, yeah. It's exciting. It's exciting. A lot of big um, I know a lot of wing fans are pretty excited. Oh, yeah. Um, so, okay. Hmm. Okay, favorite sport to watch on TV? Favorite sport to watch? I feel like probably football. Okay. There's a, lot, there's a lot of action. I like action in the sports I watch. So. All right. Move. Uh, movie. Favorite movie. Uh, that's a tough one. I feel like I usually go with Journey to the Center of the Earth. Yeah. It's a good. It's a good movie. I, I like that. Okay. And then um, finally, what is something people do not know about you, Evan? Something people don't know about me. Well, I guess I could go with I have a brother. Oh, nice. He also runs track. He's two years younger. So you can be watching for him, maybe. 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 Maybe he might break one of your records or something. Oh, oh I don't know if we're going to go that far. but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's not. Okay. All right. Well, Evan, thank you so much for um, uh, for coming on. And uh, best of luck the rest of this track season. And we'll uh, we'll talk to you soon. For sure. Thank you for having me.